Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to show you a little demo. So I've got two machines I've been testing out. Uh, this is for interval training or 100 meter sprints. I'll explain that in another post if you don't quite understand what interval training is, but extremely effective. Um, it's how I trained and maintained a winning strike rate of 20% with very average dogs too. So I'm not saying it was all me. I'm saying it was probably the methods that I learned from other people. Um, and it's all just, it just all came together. But anyway, that's another post for another day. So 100 meter sprint, start to finish. So between these two cones, you'd have your timer set up and your end timer down the bottom, obviously. Um, so essentially this is about 200 meters in a loop, but the dog would be running 100 plus about 40 to 50 past the line so he can come to a safe stop. So you can, you'll be able to see, actually I'll walk down the other end so I can show you the range of these remotes to range anywhere from 100 depending on which model you get up to about 500 meters so but anyway i might as well show you how to set it up so obviously you got your machine you'll set out all your pulleys which i'll walk out and i'll show you you don't need the line overly tight just enough that you can pull it with your hand comfortably and that it actually grips the wheel and takes off obviously uh, it's good to have a run-up start. So say you'll be holding the dog either side of the line. Yeah, back a couple of metres from the starting line. There's the lure. You start the lure. She runs past you. Let go of the dog. And it's off. It's just tripped the timer. So the timer's going. It's very wet here. <laughs> You wouldn't run a dog on this. My feet are saturated too. Should have worn boots. Idiot. <laughs> oh no. So you can imagine he's running down. He's about halfway now. Now depending on what breed of dog you got, a greyhound will do this in about five seconds, five to six seconds. Now, with these spiral, uh, sorry, dial speed controllers, uh, it's basically a range from about 38 miles per hour or 62 kilometers an hour. And it can go right down. I'll, I'll put all those details in anyway, and you'll see. But essentially you can have any breed of dog on this, on this system. And it's as reliable as all the R525s and the 610s, all those Greyhound machines. They're the same motor. So I've managed to put a speed controller on them. I was told it was impossible, but a bit of research and blown a, blown a few things up. Got us there. So you've got the end pulley make note of the angle you'd have it on so if you're looking straight up and that's 12 o'clock you want the next pulley the feedback pulley at around 11 o'clock but going on the outside of the track so you can imagine you've got fences either side it comes into a nice catching pen plenty of room to stop even for a greyhound would stop very comfortably so you got that pulley there. Now what I'll do now, I'll run it. So you can see, you can stand at either end. So here she comes. Just stop start it so you don't miss it. There you go. We'll go back around that end pulley. Very wet, so it's getting a bit of drag, but and back up again. So I'll start it off again, standing up there. So you can see it dart off. So you could do this on your own. 
um, you could release the dog with a button in your hand you would run down you'd slow him obviously just past the line and then if you've got a fence line he'll just run on the inside of the fence staring at the lure or just eyeballing it all the way back up you could just stop start stop start bring him up slowly if you wanted to and then reward him when he gets back to you so you can do all this on your own any breed from a chihuahua to a greyhound doesn't matter so wet it's like a swamp all right so it's in the starting position so you want it back you know five or six meters so here we go finish and that stop start I was talking about I'll just stop it there so that's press release press release press release that's another way to slow it down for dogs that don't have that high prey drive to now we'll do a live demo at some point see that you can make it go slower even though you got the dial all the way up see the dial there you turn that up and down so i'll turn it down a bit i'll time this and i'll put all the um, results up on the website or maybe in the comment section I'll do a whole range. I'll do at least four different settings. So you get the idea. But the beauty of this is that you're getting the reliable Greyhound motor, if you want to call it that. It's just bulletproof. I think out of 250 machines, I've had one fail. It turned out just to be the solenoid. So easy fix. Uh, that, that's what I want in these machines, just to be reliable. And if they do happen to fail, like... No, even a car like that would fail sometimes. Yeah, anything mechanical can go wrong. I just wanted it to be simple. Simple and cheap to fix. Um, you are cover covered by a warranty up to one year. Um, I'm always available, even if it is a bit slow. One or two days, I normally get back to you. But anyway, I'll keep testing this bad boy and I'll put the results up. Cheers, happy chasing, bye.